Okay, um, we're from Red Lizard Productions. I'm Emma Mitchell and I'm Claire Bannister. Okay, as, as pictures basically, after discovering an enchanted dirt necklace, the character Ruby Fox's life takes a turn for the worst. Um, she's on her own and lonely, so she doesn't know what to do. So will she escape her devastating fate without anyone realising? Uh, the film opens with an unidentified character running down a path. She's uh, clutching this enchanted necklace. Uh, she seems really panicked and uh, worried. Um, it follows down in slow motion. She throws the necklace into the trees, which Ruby Fox then finds. Um, she takes it to college and tries on and discovers that it starts to turn her invisible, which she thinks is really good at first, but it kind of leads to our one round of side points about the bullying. Because um, although the character in the film literally turns invisible by this enchanted necklace, um, she actually already feels invisible because she's being bullied by everyone at college, which is like a major issue at the moment in schools and colleges. Um, so anyway, she continues wearing the necklace and doesn't realise that it, rather than just turning her invisible, it's actually starting to wipe her entire existence from um, just like from the world. Uh, there is a one of unique said is a twist with a photograph which she actually disappears for, which is a month towards the end of the film. Okay, so from for the audience, um, we thought it would be aimed towards 15 to 30 year olds plus, but from um, the interviews that we did from our target audience, they said that it would be aimed towards the um, teenage generation. Um, it can be aimed at both genders, so it's not really a niche audience because um, the, sh the subject matters in it can be related to both genders. But because the film portrays dominant female characters, we thought it being more towards females than ma males. <clears throat> um, we're going to make sure that our filming runs smoothly, that we can overcome any difficulties by um, practicing with the. Uh, uh, a couple of scenes in our film which have difficult special effects, like a um, disappearing mirror effect in the, the photograph, we're going to practice them. Um, we're going to go into detail on this shot list to make sure we know exactly what we're doing, and we're just going to plan ahead to make sure we're going time. And for our distribution, um, we thought that um, Film 4 would be a suitable channel to distribute our film because it specialises in short films. Um, and from our research and target audience, they said the same thing as well. So we thought it would be the more ideal channel to use. Um, because we're like a small amateur film, uh, we're going to try and mainly advertise by posters and maybe some sort of viral internet <coughs> campaign like on social networking sites such as Facebook or MySpace, like small adverts. Um, we're also going to look at um, some sort of radio trailer and posters putting up in small um, amateur cinemas like the Sheffield Show. Um, and a poster, we thought that this would be like a suitable image to use because um, in the film she feels like she's invisible and the poster portrays like an invisible girl so her face is hidden and um, she's unusual, she doesn't, the audience don't really know what it's going to be about so that would intrigue them more. Um, also, it also shows the genre of thriller slash horror as well depending on which one you want to use. Right, thank you very much.